what does the tire do for us in the sink? It's just like go-karting. These things make sure we have the ultimate feeling to push the car. If it's real or virtual, it doesn't matter. That's why we work so hard to get it right in the sink. Sim racers do not have the G-Force simulated into our rigs, like my rig at least doesn't have it. So the only way to rely on getting feedback from the car is via the steering wheel and via the tires. Yeah, we're really excited about seeing our product in sim racing, especially in something like the Le Mans Virtual Series, which is right at the cutting edge uh, of sim racing and esports. It's really challenging Goodyear uh, to develop virtual tyres that the drivers, the teams uh, can take and race in these really demanding, really competitive virtual race environments. And it's great to see uh, just how competitive and exciting the racing is. Sim racers um, can expect to see more realistic tyre performance um, by our technical team working with R Factor 2. Uh, hopefully, with the data that we're providing, that just helps R Factor, the R Factor 2 team's learning uh, and, and ability to develop tyres that are super realistic, which is really important, uh, especially in endurance racing, where tyre strategy and management can play such a part. The races are very long. Uh, different weather conditions, different car setups as well for, for all the different teams and drivers means that um, using the, the real life tyre data to develop a, a realistic virtual tyre is, is really important part of that overall experience. Industry tyre data is pretty much in terms of slip tables which are essentially a plot of sideways or longitudinal forces against a slip angle, like a steering angle. Slip tables provide a generalized definition of how a tire performs. Physics engineers at R Factor 2 take this data and try to come up with a match as closely as possible to the empirical model in NXT, which is basically formula-based adjustments for various conditions. Temperature, speed, and importantly, load have a large influence on the overall grip coefficient, along with other characteristics, such as how the peak slip angle changes due to these other inputs. Because track surfaces also influence these characteristics, as well as tire construction, engineers correlate and adjust this data to match what they see in telemetry or out in the real world. Goodyear tyres are the best to work with because we deliver the, the ultimate performance for the drivers, for the cars, for the teams, regardless of the, the length of the race, the circuit, the, the track conditions, the weather conditions. You know, we've got a range of tyres uh, to help teams perform and we're now delivering that data, that experience, that expertise uh, to be used in the virtual environment as well. Our factor to, you know, to be honest, they've really challenged us to provide super high levels of, of very detailed data uh, that the team can then use to, to deliver into the Le Mans virtual game. It's amazing uh, working with them, uh, the level of, of expertise that the R Factor 2 team have. But we're up to the challenge. Uh, we've got a huge amount of data and experience behind us as well from our real life racing and also the virtual developments that, that we're going through as well uh, to test and develop new motorsport tyres. So it's a great partnership, a great combination with Goodyear and R Factor 2 uh, to deliver that virtual tyre performance. We're interested in sim racing uh, for a number of reasons. So working with our partners at the ACO and, and WEC, the World Endurance Championship, um, as well as R Factor 2 on the Le Mans Virtual Series, presented the opportunity to get involved in, in sim racing. And it's one that we couldn't turn down. You know, working with uh, some of the leaders in virtual game development was, was a no-brainer for Goodyear to get involved in that space. Um, help with the, the tie development and also open up a, a brand new audience to the Goodyear brand. 